Hello guys and welcome to a few tricks on how to model in Blender. Today I'm going to be just showing you a few tricks and techniques that will help you with modeling and it has helped me in the past. So yeah, let's get on with it. The first thing I'm going to show you is modifiers. Like modeling, if you're doing anything in symmetry, it is very, very important to do the mirror modifier because that has saved me so much time and it's just the like one of the my, the my favorite modifiers ever. It's really really nice and I totally suggest you go guys go try it out for yourself. And whatever you do on one side that will do to the other side. You guys probably already know this, but for those beginners out there, it's very very helpful. So I would totally suggest go doing that if you're doing a character, especially with the character. Use use this it has saved me so much time moving on to modifiers another one is an array this one just makes a few things go in a row that's pretty simple the next one is subdivision surface this is awesome it makes everything smooth and round and it just looks a lot better and look at that pretty cool isn't it next one is the wireframe modifier this is pretty cool it just makes everything wireframe and you can turn up the thickness on it I just want to show you that that's kind of a new modifier they implemented a few months ago next one is the edge split modifier this is awesome <laughs> it makes everything just nice and clear and because you can see the shading issues with the with the smooth and if you turn the edge split on it will just make it nice and clean looks much much better Okay, next is reference images. This is really important. If you guys are doing a character or something, definitely use a reference image. It's very, very important. And also plane modeling. That's it's really nice because for cubes, it's kind of hard to do like characters and stuff. But with a plane, I would say use that because makes life easier. Next thing is sculpting. This is pretty important too. It helps a lot with like very small details and stuff. So you can turn it on by selecting your mesh, then going down to that and clicking sculpt mode. And now you can <laughs> mess around with it. And this isn't a very good example, but it works. And up there you can change what brush you're using, like creases, you can add mesh, and it's pretty cool. Just go experiment with stuff and it will help a lot. And yeah, pretty cool stuff and you can do a lot of detail work with this. It's very handy for couches and whatever, so yeah. Moving on to the knife project. This I did not know about for a while, and I saw it in a video, or I don't remember where I saw it, but it's really, really handy. What you can do is you select your mesh, or whatever you want to make a cut into, and it can be a circle, you can cut into a flat plane or something. Then you select the mesh that you want to be cut into, then go into edit mode and click knife project in the toolbar and that will make a circle cut <laughs> look at that that's pretty cool isn't it that has helped a lot with like uh, planes and stuff if I want a circle in the middle it's very very handy and you can extrude it do whatever it's very very cool and very handy moving on to the selection tool First one is vertices, which is the default, and the next one is face. I can't stress the importance of switching these all the time. It saves a lot of time and it just helps so much with like doing modeling. And you can just select a bunch of stuff at the same time, like faces or whatever. And then if you want to just select a vertice, it helps a lot. So definitely switch that all the time when you're modeling. It will save you a bunch of time. Next thing is proportional editing. This is so handy. I can't stress how much it, it's handy. It's much, much easier to use and make really cool shapes and stuff. So how you turn it on is by pressing O or you can go down to the menu. Then you select a face or whatever and click G and move it around. Look at that. And then it moves all the vertices next to it and you can do like some pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of ver uh, proportional editing things like root, sharp, and all those things right there. They all do different stuff. I'm not going to explain them all, but you guys can go mess around with them. And it's, it's pretty handy. That's a really weird shape. <laughs> 
Next, uh, if you press Shift D on a mesh or whatever, and it's a separate thing, and you change it to connected, it will only move that what is connected to that mesh. See, the other one's not connected, so it's not moving it. It'll just move the one that's connected. All right, moving on to loop cuts. This <laughs> is really, really important to use, especially if you're using characters or something and you need lots of vertices. Loop cuts are the best, and also extrusions, and I'll get to that in a minute. You can do a loop cut by pressing Control R, and that will just place a loop cut, and yeah, Next is extrusion. You can do that by pressing E. This has saved me a lot of time over the years by doing modeling stuff, extruding out. It, <laughs> I use it all the time. I think everybody uses it all the time and it's it just helps a lot. So definitely use that and yeah. <laughs> okay moving on to normals. This can help you with this a lot of stuff and uh, normals they get messed up some of the time and if you add modifiers to messed up normals it will go, go all over which way and it will look pretty bad and you can fix this by going to edit mode and pressing control N and that will just make the shading better and it will just look much better in my opinion and the normals will be good and the modifiers will work well with it so yeah so those are just a few quick tips that I've learned over the years of modeling and yeah <laughs> I'm not the best modeler definitely not the best modeler but it will hopefully these tips help you guys and yeah <laughs> another thing I wanted to say is some of these images that you saw are not original I got them from tutorials but every single one was made by me but it's not an original idea but most of them are mine but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that and also if you want to go watch these tutorials, I'll put the links in the description and the Darth Vader one is really awesome. <laughs> go check that one out. That helped me a lot with modeling. So yes, go watch those tutorials, learn some new tricks and that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.